Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. So today, we are going to play with cameras. Alright, so when we're talking about cameras, we're talking about the cameras that we can place on small grid and large grid. And that's this here, uh, which allows you to view uh, remote locations and zoom in and out of distant objects. So basically why I want to experiment it is because eventually I want to do a series with um, recording with cameras for different types of viewpoints. So initially when you're in a camera vehicle, let's say this vehicle here, uh, which is, I kind of coined it the base traveler, it is basically a remote controlled little rover with the camera in the front. We can remote into it and tip for you guys if you hit shift K if you're playing on the PC. Um, it gets you gets you right into the remote access page so that's a bit of a shortcut for you guys hit control and we are right into our camera here so camera is pretty static it, it doesn't move in any ways unless you kind of move it based on your wheels so this one here is because i'm going left and right like this is why you see the camera kind of shifting a little bit but you can always drive it around to kind of see uh, where you are it, and it's also it's it's the screen itself looks kind of pooped on it's <laughs> it's a bit um, blurry and everything like that and uh, you'll see on the top left it says BT camera so that's my base travel camera and it says base traveler so that's the vehicle itself so this is pretty much the camera itself it's static you can't do much um, in terms of motion but you can drive around to get the viewpoint that you need such as this here so I can see my person there so that's one way of moving a camera but I want to play around with it in terms of trying to get it to do more than that. So the first thing I want to try is actually getting it to kind of rotate. So we have this here. So I built the same thing, added a rotor on the bottom so we can spin it left and right a bit. So if we remote into this one, we have a tools uh, toolbar on the bottom where you can view the camera and also uh, rotate the rotor uh, by increasing the velocity and decreasing the velocity that way we can get like a nice little pan view here if we needed to I mean um, it's decent it's not the best but at least we can kind of rotate it to get a decent view right here so this is pretty much all vanilla stuff uh, which works well if you need to get um, some kind of viewpoint a different viewpoint with these cameras um, of course there's some limitations to this one because it only spins left to right while well, up and down so in order to do up and down, I added this one here. So this one, similar thing, except we added a hinge block with the slope block as well with the camera there. This way, if we remote into this one, we're able to view it. And again, we can go left and right as before. But now we added also the increased velocity and decreased velocity for the hinge. So that way we can go up, down, with the hinges and we can increase the speed if we want it to um, and of course we can change the angle here stop it go down stop it if we need to like find the right spot so if I want to find my person we just do that so that's all manual all vanilla um, cameras so that works kind of well when it turns in terms of camera positioning but what if we wanted to go a little bit further than that so if we want to go further than that we have this guy here. So the same type of build with the rotor, slope block and hinge and the camera, but this one itself has a script. This one's running a program block with the script and that script is actually going to be the same thing that we've used with our cranes and that's the cockpit, that's the cockpit piston, rotor and hinge controller. That's what's running in this program block, right? So if you hit edit, you have to change some things here, but we'll talk about that in a second. But once I get into this rover, now because the way we programmed it with the script, we can do this. As you see here, we can turn it left and right with our mouse, up and down on the rotor, with, again with our mouse or if you're using Xbox, a controller. So that is pretty much a scripted version of the camera. So if we want to go into camera view, I can go up, down, left, right, even diagonally if we wanted to, to kind of get our good viewpoint. 
So that one is a scripted one version of it, which works out. But of course, before without, if you can't, if you're not gonna use scripts or mods, if you have the previous vehicle, you just gotta do everything manually. But this one works really well with this script. So if you want to talk about the script itself, if you don't know how to use it, let's just jump right into it. So you definitely want to go into editing it, browse the scripts, get the cockpit piston rotor and hinge controller script. And of course, once you're in there, you want to edit it a bit and change um, or include some names to it. So um, right now I currently have all the movements, whether it's left um, using the mouse left and right up and down or using A and D, W and S and also Q and E as the key controls and set that as one speed for each one. And then you, of course you want to name the cockpit or remote control on here. So whatever it is on your rover or ship, my rover has remote control as the name for the remote control, which makes total sense. So you got to put that here um, on that string or line. And to make things left and right, that's the Y here. So you put the rotor, uh, which is the name of my rotor, which you can name anything to be honest. And then go up and down would be the hinge. So that's pretty much all I did to it, to the script. Hit OK and recompile and run it. And then you can move it up and down like that easily. So nice and smooth that so we can drive this guy anywhere we wanted to and take a nice pan panoramic shot. And even including sitting in there, we will even see this space engineer from here. But of course, you can always zoom in if you need to, uh, which makes it pretty neat. All right, so that's pretty much the vanilla way of doing cameras, uh, motion, and now scripted. And let's go dive deep into mods. So I'm gonna check out the workshop and see what I can find. All right, so I scoured the workshop and I was able to find two pretty interesting mods for the camera. Number one, it's going to be the clear camera screen. So we go into our original um, rover, the initial one, remote into it and jump into our camera. We have a nice clear screen. So it doesn't look like it's, it got pooped on with all that weird shading. And as you see here, it keeps the same kind of view. And on the top, you'll see the name and everything like that for the camera and the ship that you're on or rover that you're on. So it makes it pretty neat to make a nice little viewpoint or a different camera view in, in that sense. And that's pretty much the first mod that I was able to find that works pretty well with cameras. I'll leave a link in the description down below for you guys to use these um, in the future as well. So that's one. And of course, these all work out for all these other rovers that I have. But um, just jumping into the one with the script, we're able to get a nice clear um, camera and we can easily rotate around with that script. And as you see here, you can see our own space engineer from here as well, which is pretty cool. All right, so the next mod that I was able to find it's actually going to be called um, camera panning. So in t instead of using the script as we did with this vehicle here um, with the rotor and the hinge to control those with the mouse control, I was able to find a, a mod that actually enables you to rotate your camera. So right now I'm in the camera and all you have to do is actually, if you're running in a PC, hold the left alt key and pan with your mouse. And there's a bit of limitation, but you can easily pan left, right, up, down, and also, of course, diagonally too. So this mod makes it pretty interesting too. If you have more of a stationary thing and you didn't want to use a script, you could throw in a camera. And of course, once you do that, just hold the left alt key and you can move around to have a nice little viewpoint as well. And of course, if you want to reset to the original centers, camera panning or camera screen just hit V and you're straight again so look I can drive around a little bit and if I wanted to say look to my left let's hold alt I look to my left look to my right up down and everything like that so that's a pretty interesting mod that um, I might be using for a series that I'm thinking about using these cameras and what's cool about it if you combine all of it together so basically if you want to combine the script so that you can go up, down, left, right with the camera, with the rotor and the hinge, as you see here, right? So we go into the camera, we can easily go up, down, left, right, or diagonally. And at any point, let's just say, 
if we're looking at ourselves we can still hold let left alt and pan a little bit to the right and pan a little bit to the left up and down as well so you can do all that combinations with these camera which is pretty cool i would say i would pretty much use the script combined with the camera panning mod just to get the best view possible and of course that way you can't limit yourself in any way so I just want to experiment with making camera views so they can pan a little bit so I can get some pretty cool shots. So probably look forward to that. I might have a series in mind that's going to use kind of like this rover or maybe stationary points where I'm going to use um, these cameras. Of course, the clear screen camera and not that um, pooped on camera um, that's by default. All right. So this was a short one, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and experimenting with camera views. So if you did like this video, please hit that thumbs up, like the video, consider subscribing to the channel, feel free to leave us some comments, and of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.